Now, my friends, his soul will be returned inside his body, inside his grave. Now it will be the grave's turn. And what will the grave say? The grave will say, Kunta la abghaz man yamshi ala dhahri ilayya. Out of all the people that walked on me, you, Abdullah, was the one I hated most of all. You, O oh Abdullah, was the one I hated most of all. O oh Abdullah, I've been waiting for you all this time. I've been waiting for you to come to me. Now that you have come to me today, today I will make you pay the price. Today you will know how I will deal with you. At that time, my young friends, the grave will embrace him with such force, such force that the ribs of one side, they will penetrate into the other side. And Rasulullah practically demonstrated this. He took the fingers of his right hand and he placed them in the fingers of his left hand like this. This is what will happen. This is what will happen. And now, the angels Munkar and Nakir will come. Jibra'il Amin on one occasion asked Rasulullah, okay, Ya Rasulullah, I want you to describe these angels for me. So Nabi Kareem وسلم, was told, okay, O Muhammad, without telling you the size of these angels, that their eyes glitter like lightning. Seen a flash of lightning. This is how their eyes glitter. You know their voices rumble like thunder. Their teeth are like the horns of a bull. Their hair reach their feet. The distance between their shoulders is miles apart. You know, if you wanted to cover the distance from one shoulder to other shoulders, it would take you days and days. Rasulullah was told that in these people, there is not even an ounce of mercy inside their hearts. Their mercy is only for the true believers. They will come to everyone. Each one of them will carry a hammer of steel. My young friends, all those within the dunya, from the human kind and jinn kind, if they were to get together just to pick up one of these hammers, never mind moving it an inch, they will not be even be able to move it a millimeter. Not even a millimeter. They will come to him in his grave. They will reproach him. They will reproach him in such a manner. Allah protect that every bone in his body will begin to crack. Every bone, they will reproach him. He will faint. When he comes round, they will ask the three questions. Man rabbuk, ma dinuk, man Ya Hadha, Erif Makanak, recognize where you are. Look around you. The dunya has come to an end. You are now inside the grave. Tell us, Man Rabbuk, who is your Lord? Now, you and I were sitting here and we're thinking, Yeah, Yar, I read the Kalima La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Who doesn't know the answer to these? Who doesn't know the answer to these? My Lord is Allah, my deen is Islam, and this man is Muhammad. Who doesn't? These are simple. My young friends, you know, in there, if you haven't lived a life according to the teachings of Allah and His Rasul Wasallam, you know what? Just as those that wine and dine whilst they're alive are whining and dining on deathbed and rather reading the kalima la ilaha illallah, they're uttering nonsense like give me intoxicants to drink. If you spent a life like this, when these angels ask you these simple questions, and indeed they are simple questions, my friends, you will not have the answer. Now this guy was whining and dining. You know when the question is asked, Man Rabbuk, who is your Lord? What do you think he will say? Allah says in the Quran, man hawa. You know, he was one of those, that his God, his Lord was his desire. He didn't listen to Allah. He didn't follow the teachings of Rasulullah. He was following his desires. His desire was saying, you know what? This girl look absolutely, she's dynamite. She's beautiful. Go for her. He was going for her. His nafs was saying, forget Salah. Yeah? Let's go chill with the boys. Hang out on the street corners. He was doing this. His nafs was saying, you know what? It's not too bad to have a tablet or two. Enjoy yourself. 
You know, you've only got 10, 15 years, life's to enjoy. That's what he was doing. He was listening to every single thing that his nafs was saying. This was his God, so what is he going to say? La ha ha la adri, I don't know. We'll ask him. Man, uh, they're going to ask him, Ma'adeen, what's your deen? There was no deen in his life, yeah? You know, he believed that, you know, you turn to Allah when you're 70. You know, when you can't pull anymore, you've got nowhere to go. You know, bones are cracking, you've got arthritis, you know, you, 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 you become weak, your, you know, wrinkles on your faces. This is what he believed, that you go for hajj at that age, till then, you know, you enjoy. So what's he going to say? What's your deen? There was no deen in his life. He was just a chiller. Man hadha rajul. Who was this man? He didn't know who Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was. He read the kalima la ilaha, but he didn't know who Muhammad was. He never followed Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He used to follow the likes of, you know, Ronaldo's and the Messi's, the Ronaldinho's. He used to follow people like, you know, these, the movie stars, these pop stars. You know, the way they were combing their hair, the walking the walk and talking the talk and the clothes and the cars. You name it. For him, they were the role models. What's he going to turn around? What's he going to say? He ain't going to have an answer. Ha ha la adri. And at that time, my friends, فَيَضْرِبَانْهِ دَرْبَةً يَتَتَايُرُ الشَّرُرُ فِي قَبْرِهِ They will strike him with that mace with such force, my young friends, that the sparks will spread throughout the grave. Sparks will spread. And it will be said to him, look above. And a door will be opened to paradise. He will look above. He will so the door will be open to paradise. He will be able to see paradise. He will be able to see the blessings of paradise. And it will be said, Ya Adu Allah, O enemy of Allah, Hada Manziluk Lo Atat Allah. How do you worship Allah? Then this was your abode. But you didn't. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at that time swore by his life. Walladi Nafsibiyade. He swore by his life, you know, at that time. He will feel such regret, the likes of which he's never felt before. You know that that's when reality will come before his eyes. You know, he's seeing Jahannam. And he knows now that he's been deprived. He knows what's going to happen thereafter. At that time, Rasulullah swore by his life that, that that individual will feel such regret, the likes of which he's never felt before. A door will be opened towards hell. And it will be said, Oh, Adu Allah, Hada Manziluk Lima Asayt Allah. Oh, enemy of Allah, this is your abode because you disobeyed Allah. And the hot eye of Jahannam will keep on entering his grave and he will roast right till the day of judgment. Hadith of Barai ibn Azim, after the questions, a caller will call out. And Kazaba Abdi, Fafrishu lahu min al nar, Walbisuhu min al nar, Waftahu lahu babin il al nar. Give him the clothes of Jahannam, give him the bedding of Jahannam and open a door towards Jahannam for him. Thereafter, a man will come inside his grave. Qabihul Waj, Qabihu Sayyab, Muntin Ri. This man is ugly of face, his clothes are ugly, he stinks. He will come in his grave and this man will begin to mock. He'll begin to take the mick and he will say to him, you know what? Abshir, Abshir bil ladhi yasu'ak. Good news. Good news, glad tidings of what? Alladhi yasu'ah. Of that which troubles you, of that which gives you taklif, of that which brings you pain. Hada yawmuka alladhi kunta tu'ad. You didn't believe. You were just too big to believe. Hada yawmuka alladhi kunta tu'ad. My young friend, this is the day that you were promised. Allah mentioned it in the Quran, what your outcome will be if you reject. Rasulullah mentioned it in hundreds of hadiths, what your outcome will be if you reject. The a'imma on every Juma would remind you of the consequences. In gatherings like this, you were reminded of these consequences. But you refused to believe. You didn't believe that you were going to die. You didn't believe there will be accountability. You didn't believe that the angel will come. Today, you will pay the price. And he will ask, and who are you? فَوَجْهُكَ الْوَجْءَ الَّذِي يَجِئُ بِالشَّرْ Your face brings bad news. Who are you? He will turn and say to him, أَنَا أَمُلُكَ الْخَبِيسِ You know the bad deeds that you performed in the dunya? I am those deeds. Allah has given me a body so that you can see what you did in the dunya. And my friends, when he can see his deeds before him in the, in, in, in the form of a body, black body which literally stinks 
with black clothing, my friends, he will begin to beg the Almighty Allah. He will now know what's going to happen, my friends, and he will begin to beg the Almighty Allah, Wallah, Rabbi la tuqim as Rabbi la tuqim as Wallah, I beg you, do not bring the final hour. Do not bring the final hour, because he knows Okay, whatever happens thereafter will be a million times more severe and it will keep on increasing and increasing and increasing and there is no end. Hadith of Bara ibn Azib says, لَهُ أَسَبْ أَبْكَمْ Thereafter, a blind and deaf tormentor will be appointed to torment him. Blind and deaf, why blind and why deaf? So you know, when he's crying inside his grave and he's begging and he's shouting, and he's screaming and tears of blood are flowing from his eyes and he's begging for compassion and mercy to be shown these tormentors will be blind and deaf so they cannot see him crying and they cannot hear him begging and they will have a hammer when they strike it on a mountain it will turn to dust and when they strike him all the khala'iq, the creations of Allah will be able to hear this other than the thakalain, that is the humankind and jinn kind. Sayyidina Abu Sayyid al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala relates that Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, يُسَلَّتُ عَلَى الْكَافِرِ فِي كَبْرِ تِسْأَةٌ وَتِسْأُنَ تَنِينَ تُنْحِشُ وَتُلْدِغُ حَتَّى تَكُمُ السَّعَةِ 99 serpents will be sent upon him and they will keep on biting him till the day of judgment. Such is the venom of one of the my young friends that if it was to sting the earth, nothing would grow on the earth right till the day of judgment. 99 upon him and they will keep on stinging him stinging him right till the day of judgment right till the day of judgment the reality of the matter is my young friends different people will receive different punishments